mane kan ilu ma dunda ke na yala te ko ko ha pas ka le bot ko ni ki 11 years nga jere ponkalim gor mo di ko rep mi joy su lo hop di ko ne onkul balal ma balal ma mi ko wonne na jel blog bi toj sa bop ka bi so yu ho mi jel metit bobu non di dunde metit bobu non bu ne ka di yala rek mo ma dun The alleged rapist approached six boys who happened to be a part of a junior football academy in KM Town in total disguise, pretending to be one of their new trainers and called out to them. The oldest of them stood up, assuming that he was referring to him, but his target was set on the youngest amongst them, an 11-year-old young boy. He told the boy to come with him and assist him in transporting a few training essentials to the field. Innocent and trusting, he followed the alleged rapist and was led to an abandoned school building in Canifing, where nothing less than absolute horror awaited him. The 11-year-old victim was forced to strip and was allegedly brutally raped on this very mattress. <laughs> leg mo oma min dama kay kay dimbelema kula o gor la na jigen gor leg na mu on bu ñu oyé min dama dimbelema dimbelema mu tess mo la min dama dimbelema ma assez football at cons ma assez leg mu tema mu yob me ba ci neg bi bu ma yob ba ci neg bi leg na mu dama tira mu mané ko on ko balalama leg na mu jess mo la bi forcé ma ci souf mu tirama Thank <laughs> Young and unknowing of the intentions of his attacker, the underage victim, who has a long history of medical complications including seizures, claimed to have pleaded with the alleged rapist, screaming, Pardon me, uncle. Forgive me, uncle. Don't do this to me. According to the mother of the victim, uncle responded with this. (laughs) 
After he escaped from the scene and managed to flee back home, the parents rushed him to the Canifing police station where they were informed that rape offences aren't a part of their jurisdiction, referring them to Old Joshuang police station instead, where they were escorted to the Canifing hospital by police officials. Uh, the victim is my son. Um, he's just uh, 11 years old. Now, yeah, like um, for somebody who's just hearing about um, this incident, this very, very unfortunate incident, might I add, for the first time, very curious about the details about it. How would you relate uh, to them? Well, actually, uh, the thing happened while I was at work. Uh, I just came from work when I found Mohammed, and he was narrating the story to her mom. Uh, with regard to rape, okay, uh, when I came and uh, he explained the situation to me, I couldn't bear it. I just took his hand and go with him to where the, the incident happened. Unfortunately, we could not find the person himself. So I went to police and I reported the matter at the police, and they gave me an escort to Carnivine Hospital, where he was tested. It was found that he had got some wounds around his anus, and, uh, which proved that uh, it happened. So uh, from there, uh, uh, we do some tests, you know, and uh, to see if he has any disease or anything. But it was all turned to be negative anyway, for now. And I was told to go back after a month. Uh, I'm shocked with this. And, uh, I don't, I don't have any words to explain. A first cousin to the father of the victim and also his namesake is equally in shock. And he called me. He told me that today I am very, very, very angry and devastated. I cannot even express the situation I am in. So I asked him what happened. So he narrated the story to me that his son has been raped. I couldn't explain. I was out of words. And I asked him whether you have reported the matter to the police. He told me yes. The police even gave him the escort, you know, to the hospital to see whether there was penetration or, or not. And uh, according to the report, there was penetration, you know, because uh, it has some wounds around his anus. And so I just parked up. I told him I'm coming. I'm on my way coming there. So when I arrived, I found my nephew. He was laying down. He was, cannot even move because he was too shocked and devastated too. Because you cannot imagine, you know, a minor, just about 11 years, you know, somebody just deceived him. Because, you know, boys, we know, these little guys, they like to play football around. And this guy just came. An elderly person, because I asked him, how does he look like? He told me he's kind of skinny and a bit tall, with beards, you know, and moustache. So I know that he's a grown-up somebody. He deceived him and took him to a very calm, you know, not a noisy place anyway, just like a bush, one can say, full of grass, you know, and forced him on the ground. You know, he's too young. He cannot resist. The victim's family stated that their involvement of the press in their affair was done in high hopes that they could get assisted in identifying and locating the man, eventually leading to justice being served. We contacted the police PRO, Superintendent Laminjai, but he could not immediately comment on the issue. Reporting for the Fatu Networks News Review, I am Mudi Wangom.